Hello and welcome to another episode of Trading Dimes for Dollars. I'm Herrick Kimball and today I've got something special for you. Once again, if you watched my previous video, you learned how to take recycled scraps of cardboard like this right here and turn them into whiz-bang pseudo boxes for packaging items that weigh 16 ounces or less. Today, in this video, I'm gonna show you a little technique, a little trick, I'm going to call it, for using cardboard instead of bubble wrap. Recycled free cardboard instead of bubble wrap in some applications when packaging up your eBay orders. All right, so I want to explain the principle of a cardboard spring action, I'll call it. If uh, you have a piece of cardboard and the corrugations are going this way, you can easily fold that piece of cardboard, right? You could fold it like that. You see the spring action there? You can use that to your advantage. But you can get more spring action if you go the opposite direction. You see we got the corrugations going this way and you score. So you score here and then you uh, don't turn it, don't go that way because you don't, you've got a little spring but you really don't have much. If you score and bend into the score, you got all kinds of spring action. So you can do that again, okay? And you can do that again, okay? You can really get a lot of filler and you get that spring action, okay? That's the principle that I'm going to put to use here. So what I'm going to package up here is this uh, vintage stereo headphone set, which I always, if I have a box that's a little bit flimsy, I always use the, uh, the saran wrap or the plastic wrap, we should say, to give it some integrity. And this is going to California from New York where I am. So I'm going to use a medium flat rate box. Cardboard has weight to it, but it makes no difference. The weight makes no difference with a flat rate box, as you know. If weight was a, a factor and I wanted to keep the weight down, I would use the lighter weight bubble. But here we can see that that fits in there pretty good. If it wasn't California that I was shipping this to, and uh, I could use a, a regional B box, I would use that, and I would have more space to fill, but, uh, and the same principle would work. The same spring principle. You get, I think you're getting the idea. Put the springy stuff right there, put springy stuff over here, put it here, but uh, I'll just package these up in the medium box like, I'm, like I would if I was, uh, like, well, I actually did sell these, so, so I'm going to uh, set that in there, and what I've got is my scrap cardboard over here, and I have my sharp knife, and uh, that, that happens to fit in there, and, but it's a little too big that way, so I'm gonna go like that. What I'm gonna do is put cardboard in the bottom, okay? And I'm gonna put a spring underneath that flat piece, all right? So what I'm gonna do is grab my piece of cardboard here, I got the corrugations going this way, so I'm gonna just score that way, okay? And I've got my springy piece. And I'm gonna put that down there like that. And now I'm gonna add my cardboard to each side. I can stick this in there and I can score along like that, bend it, cut that off, put that in. I've got some springy action there, and we'll do the same thing over here. Okay, you've got the idea, but I'll follow through here and uh, just take it to packaging completion. Now it makes no difference, I could put it like that just as easily as the other way, and uh, I don't think it makes any difference at all. Here in the ends, I've got room. I don't, see, the idea, of course, is we don't want it to jiggle around. So here I'm going to cut this. Yeah, we'll stick that in there like that. I'm gonna go and score it like that, 
like that. Got another spring piece in there. Now, if I had more room, I would just make more folds. Okay, and uh, we'll do one more. Get my uh, get a piece I like here, and uh, all right. So we got to cut that down, and we'll stick it in here. Kind of get a. I'm holding my knife down, so I'm not exactly flush. Remember, we don't turn it like that. We don't have much spring, but we go like that. We got spring. Okay, I cut off my excess up here. We'll slide that right in. All right, then uh, get another scrap here. I want to lay on the top. You can size this stuff pretty quick. There's that. I'll get it like that. And I'm going to put a little spring piece on top. You can burn up your cardboard pretty well here doing this. Okay, there we go. Now look, that is going to, I'm going to put my invoice in there, but for now we'll just tape the ends so that I can show you that that box is not, th those contents are protected and they're going to get to California from New York in good shape. I'm going to tape it up real good and uh, yeah, so there you go. That's a quick little uh, trick tip video for you. If you liked it, give me a like. I appreciate it if you do. Uh, give me, uh, you know, the thumbs up thing. And um, yeah, subscribe to the channel. Tell your friends all of those things. And if you want to buy me a coffee, you can do that at buymeacoffee.com. Thank you.